What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an MLB The Show 20 video for you guys that can be extremely helpful whenever you're playing the game as a pitcher, whether that be in a franchise mode or uh, whatever mode to be honest with you. Right here we're in Road to the Show as my pirate, or sorry, my pitcher where I started out as a Giants pitcher and then got traded to the Angels. We're going to go ahead and jump into a game and we're going to talk about reading the catcher's signals in MLB The Show 20 and why it's helpful to you and, and how to do it. This is for people that, uh, you know, maybe are a little bit less experienced at the game or are, you know, newer to baseball like I am. I've only been interested in following baseball for maybe three or four years now since my friends got me into it. And I really didn't know the depth to which certain things like the, the catcher's signals actually are employed in the game. Um, you know, they are telling Telling you which pitch and, and where to locate the pitch on pretty much every single player where they would like it and uh, I think it's really interesting and it can be really helpful for you in game so we're going to go ahead and advance to this game and we're going to just jump into it and like I said this is for people like me that maybe don't know these things or didn't know these things and have kind of uh, could kind of use some help pitching and some some help uh, figuring these things out um, so when we jump into the game I, I want to clarify that there are settings in the game that you can turn on that allow you to then let me go in and actually i'm going to turn off the uh the uh, announcer volume uh, commentary volume all the way down there are settings here where you can change the the feedback that allows you to see what the catcher's calls are so if we go to uh where is it is it uh, adaptive pitching, pitch delay, pitch feedback. There's one of the, there's a setting here somewhere that allows you to get feedback where the catcher is always going to suggest which pitch to throw and the exact location of it. And it will pop up with an actual bar, ball marker in the zone pre-play. So when I'm selecting a pitch here, prior to selecting a pitch, there's a setting there that will allow the catcher to show you exactly which pitch they want you to throw and exactly where they want you to place the ball. However, if you're on, uh, you know, the regular regular settings or if you're on a higher difficulty it's not going to show you that but what I'm talking about here is before I select this pitch I want you guys to watch the catcher's hands and see exactly what he's doing so he's holding up a certain number of fingers and he's basically pointing in a certain direction to try and tell me where he wants me to place the ball um, and there are multiple different signals that these guys can have and uh, and we're going to go over those first so first and foremost I want to talk about the number of fingers that the catcher is holding Holding up. That is the most basic thing uh, whenever you are trying to read the catcher's signals and determine what he's trying to tell you to throw. And the reason that it can be really helpful for you to pay attention to what the catcher's signals are is because a lot of times he will help you along. If you, you know, if you struggle to set up batters for strikeouts or something like that, or you just need help pitching in general, you don't necessarily know when to throw which pitch or where to throw that pitch, the catcher's signals are going to give you a good indication indication of which pitch to throw, when to throw it, and where to throw it. So it's really helpful to know these things. And so we're going to go ahead and get up to the next one, and we're going to look at the, the number of fingers that the catcher is holding up. So the number of fingers that the catcher actually holds up is going to indicate to you which pitch to throw uh, or which pitch he would like you to throw. So if we look here, he holds up one finger. That is going to be the four-seam fastball. That's going to be your first pitch, whatever your first pitch is. If he holds up two fingers, it will be the second pitch. If he holds up three fingers, it's the third pitch. If he holds the four fingers, it's the fourth pitch, and five fingers is the fifth pitch. So keep that in mind that he's going to direct you to which pitch he actually wants you to throw. So this time he held up one finger, or rather he held down one finger, and that's going to indicate that he wants me to throw a fastball. More often than not, I find that when you throw the pitch that he wants, you tend to get a strike with it. So here he's holding up one finger again. He wants me to throw another fastball, and we'll get into the location here in a second. I just want to get you guys uh, a good idea of seeing the number of fingers that he holds up indicate which pitch he wants me to throw. So right there he's holding up fastball again. He must see something that the, the batter 
is not necessarily catching up to the fastball, so he wants me to throw another one, and guess what? It's a strikeout because the catcher saw something there that indicated that that was the pitch to throw. And what I'm saying is this will help you guys out tremendously if you start listening to the pitcher and which pitch to throw and the locations to throw it because it will help you to get more strikeouts or induce ground balls. Whatever it might be, it should help you out as a pitcher if you struggle with these things or if you're newer to the game like I am. So that is definitely helpful. Now let's talk about some of the, the things with location with what they're telling me to do. So there are different ways that they can indicate the location that they want you to place the ball. Now I don't have this down to an exact science, but for the most part it seems like they will either slap their thigh or point in the direction that they want the ball to go. If they hold their finger straight down the middle, they want you to place it down and in. So that one, he pointed his finger slightly to this side. And so what I've learned is that if he's if he just put, put, points his finger down and doesn't tap his leg and points it down, he wants you to throw it down and in the middle. But let's see if we can get one where he slaps his leg. So he wants the same thing. He wants you down and in the middle or, or roughly to that side that he's pointing to. There he goes down, and he slapped his he slapped his left leg. He slapped on the right side there, as you guys could see. So that indicates that he wants you to throw down and to the right. Now, here's what I want to say. Right where this ball marker is is where he slapped. He slapped on the bottom of his thigh, which means he wants you to throw it down. If, either, if your catcher ever slaps the top of his thigh, which will happen, that means he wants you to throw the ball up. And so this is really helpful to know the location of where he wants you to send a specific pitch so that pitch induced a ground ball because he must have seen something that he liked or seen something that he thought I could get a, a ground ball or, or induce a strikeout with so let's keep going and just look at a couple of these so he wants me to throw the fourth pitch he didn't indicate a direction so I'm just going to throw it down and in and I'm not or, or sorry down uh, down in the zone and I'm not 100% sure that that's exactly how it works if he's just pointing down like that there he slapped to his left leg and on the second pitch so it seems like he wants me to do a slider to this side of the ball, this side of the zone rather. And essentially, if you guys aren't catching on yet, he's telling you which direction to put put the ball. You know, it, it's pretty clear where he wants you to put it. So he just said the fourth pitch, and he didn't indicate a direction. So I'm just going to place it down in the zone, you know, a low risk area, and try to get a, get an early strike. Now he's going with a fastball, and he slaps his leg down and to the outside. So I'm going to put the ball down into the outside. Get another nice strike. And then he comes up again. He wants another fastball. And this time he didn't. It looked like he might have hit his right leg. So I'm going to put it over here to the right. I can't tell for sure. It gets a little tricky sometimes reading these necessarily. You're not always going to be 100% sure, in my opinion, where he wants you to place the ball. Um, it, maybe I'm just not experienced enough to know exactly every single call and where he's trying to tell it to tell me to throw the pitch. But the, you guys get the gist. Is you know The number of fingers he's holding up is the pitch that he wants you to throw and then if he slaps that leg that's the direction he wants you to throw it or if he points in a certain direction with the finger that he's holding up that's the way he wants you to throw it you know it's really helpful to know these things so he just did four fingers and he held his hand way up higher than he held it on the rest of the pitches normally when he holds four fingers or however many fingers he holds it down here near his crotch instead this time he held it up here near his glove and so that to me says okay maybe he wants me to actually throw this pitch high this time because he held his hand higher than where he normally holds it. And there you go. I get a nice swing and a strike because the I listened to the catcher and I threw exactly what he wanted me to throw. Now he wants me to throw pitch three. Uh, and I just messed it up. I picked the wrong pitch, and he didn't give a, a direction. He kind of held his hand down in the zone, and uh, uh, that's where I'm going to throw it. Hopefully you guys are getting the gist here. That's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you read what the catcher wants you to throw. That's how you read his signals. Like I said, the number of fingers is going to tell you which pitch to throw. The direction he's either pointing or he hits his leg is going to indicate the direction where he wants you to throw the ball. Uh, you know, oftentimes he'll put his hand way down. Sometimes his, he'll put his hand up, and that's going to cause an indication of where exactly, you know, height level in the strike zone he wants you to throw the ball. But if you start to listen to what the pitcher actually wants you to throw this is actually really immersive and I find it to be really enjoyable so there he wanted me to go to and what uh, what he did was he he 
angled his hand towards this corner. Um, and so, in my opinion, that is kind of indicating that he wants me to throw a slider towards the edge of the zone here. And so I'm going to throw it there, and I get a nice strikeout. So that is what there is to it. You know, that's how you're going to read the, the catcher's signals in MLB The Show 20. Like I said, hopefully this is helpful to you guys that didn't necessarily know this information before. You're new to the game like I am or new to baseball and you don't necessarily know some of this information. Hopefully it helps you guys out in some way because to me, once I found this out, I started oftentimes going with what the catcher wanted me to pitch and I was like, wow. He's getting me strikeouts. I mean, this guy is telling me the perfect location to throw these pitches and the perfect combination of pitches, and it ends up with a lot of strikeouts. As you guys can see, in uh, in my other games, whenever I back out of here, uh, I've actually, actually, I'm not going to back out of there, but I've had a ton of strikeouts this season, and, and a lot of that has come since I started to listen to the catcher and uh, see where his, you know, how many fingers he's pointing down and, and which direction he wants me to put the ball, and I've tended to get a lot of strikeouts out of it. So for you guys that are newer, hopefully that helps you guys out in some way. If it did help you out in some way, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment down below with what you guys would like to see next. Uh, what I will say is uh, I didn't know that this game was this in-depth and this detailed with those things. I never noticed that the catcher gave me the actual number of fingers of the pitch he wanted me to throw. And I, I should have known this because it, it's a it's a it's it's something that happens in baseball. I mean, it's very uh, standard for the catcher to give signals like that. And I should have known that they had that in the game, but I just never noticed it because I've never really paid it. I didn't know to pay attention to that. And now that I've paid attention to it, it's helped me out tremendously. So hopefully it'll help you guys out tremendously knowing what exactly is going on there, what the catcher is trying to tell you. Um, and if it did, make sure you guys leave that feedback on the video. In addition to that, share the video with your friends if it's something you think they could use help with. You know, if you know a friend that's maybe not the best at pitching in the game, tell them to, to check out the video and, and maybe they'll learn a thing or two about reading the catcher's signals and, and that could help them improve as a pitcher. Um, I know I have a couple friends that have given me a lot of tips and tricks and helped me out along the way and I'm not the most experienced experienced MLB player, but I do know a thing or two so I can help you guys out. So hopefully it helped you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great night.